Hello, welcome to this brief Hurricane Dorian update. Uh, Hurricane Dorian right now is uh, weakened a bit, uh, but it is still stalled out over the Grand Bahama Island, unfortunately for them. So it's it's looking uh, every bit of a really severe hurricane right now at this point. So I'm going to read you the latest Hurricane Dorian advisory very briefly. As of 11 a.m., the eye of Hurricane Dorian was located near latitude 26.8 north, longitude 78.3 west. Dorian is moving very moving very slowly to the west at near one mile an hour. A slow westward to northwestward motion is forecast through the next day or so, followed by a gradual turn to the northwest and north on this track. Uh, the core of extremely dangerous Hurricane Dorian will continue to pound the Grand Bahama Island through much of today and the night. The hurricane will then move dangerously close to the Florida East Coast late tonight through Wednesday evening, and then move dangerously close to the Georgia and South Carolina coasts. On Wednesday night and Thursday, maximum sustained winds are near 155 miles an hour with higher gusts. Dorian is an extremely powerful, dangerous Category 4 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson wind scale. Although gradual weakening is forecast, it's expected to remain a powerful hurricane during the next couple of days. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 45 miles from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 140 miles. The uh, maximum sustained, the, ma the minimum central pressure is not 922 millibars, that is. 27.23 inches so once again maximum stain winds are down to 155 miles an hour uh on the storm and here is the here is uh we'll just show you the uh spaghetti models here uh here are the spaghetti models which basically show that uh, the storm will be uh it looks like they're clustering now and it's just going to shave the entire east coast even if it doesn't make a landfall the the, the storm surge there'll be storm surge and flooding and beach erosion throughout the east coast as a result of the storm kind of just shaving by especially severe effects from north carolina down to the central florida coasts along uh, along the coast and we're gonna have to watch because the storm is st not moving it's basically stalled out now uh... so uh, let's go and take a look at the uh... uh... warning cone here so uh... here is the uh... Warning cone map, and you can see here, max of same winds, 155 miles an hour. Movement is only west at one mile an hour, pretty much stationary. And here you go, it just has it shaving the coast pretty much all the way up into the North Carolinas. So again, this thing continues to be bear bear watching. I'll keep my eye on it for you. I feel so bad for the folks there in the Bahamas uh, who are just getting pounded by this. Uh, there is uh, Grand Bahamas just it's stalled right over them. It's 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 not moving at all, and part of it's in the eye, and then part of it's in the eye wall. This is Grand Bahama right here, uh, and even Nassau, which is over here, uh, they had an island-wide uh, blackout uh, as a result of this storm. Though, like I said, power outages unfortunately are going to be the least of their problems uh, as they're going to deal with the just widespread destruction of their island. Unfortunately, as a result of these this 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 hurricane. So uh, that does conclude this update. Uh, I want to thank you for watching uh, and take care.